something pretty interesting that I found out. Gonna wanna stick around to see that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about NVIDIA's RTX 4090 and something pretty interesting that I found out. Gonna wanna stick around to see that. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, give me a like, comment below, let me know what you think of this video. And don't forget guys, check out the new store, acrylics.com, right there on the screen, brand new merchandise. You guys are gonna wanna check that out. Let's dive right in and talk about the NVIDIA RTX 4090 and what I figured out. So this is a crazy card. And it does pretty crazy things. And I want to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Let's dive right in. So before we get into the benchmark between the 3090 and the 4090, stick around. Because after that benchmark, I'm going to give you guys an analogy that you're going to be able to understand and explain exactly what bottlenecking is and how you can overcome it. So here we go. I got a benchmark here with Modern Warfare 2 with the Ryzen 5950X and an ASUS Crosshair Dark Hero AM4 motherboard. And I have everything set to stock settings except to have Performance Boost Optimizer turned on. The graphics card is not overclocked. It is set to the factory settings and left just the way it is this is the ga 102 ampere architecture 8nm from nvidia and we're going to be comparing it to the 4090 and you can see that the 3090 is doing a pretty good job we're staying above 220 or 230 frames most of the time and we're not dipping too far below 200 if ever pay attention to the cpu frame time which is how many milliseconds it takes to render each frame which is extremely important in fact it's more important than frame rates one could argue keep an eye on those frame times at four and five milliseconds as it fluctuates back and forth and as we get really close to the end of this test you're going to see what it is that i'm talking about and this is a really good card and processor combo for you guys however you will see on the screen right now the results are 230 frames per second but that's not the most important thing here the big takeaway here is the bottleneck you'll see on the cpu it's 42 percent on the gpu it's 58 percent with the setup that i have amd fsr 1.0 ultra quality the gpu is working exactly as expected however you can see that a cpu is now up to around 42%. If you have done any of these tests in 4K, you would see the CPU is around 10% or less most of the time, but it can range anywhere from 10 to 20%. The GPU would be more like 90 to 95%, maybe even higher depending on your 4K settings. However, when you're in 1080p, it's more CPU intensive and it's relying on the GPU to get the information across. So it takes both components, but it leans pretty heavily on the CPU. Now it's time to get on with the mother load, the 49 you guys can see right here, right off the get-go, three millisecond frame time versus four milliseconds or even five of the 3090. That makes this GPU more than 50% faster than the 3090. CPU frame time, you're going to see here, it jumps from four to six milliseconds here and there, and that is due to bottlenecking, and I will get into that in just a moment. The AD102 or Ada Lovelace architecture is 4NM, and it is an incredible GPU. In fact, it is so powerful that in 1080p, even at 260, 60 frames per second right now, which is the result I'm about to show you, we are only using about 1% of the GPU. That's right, 1080p, full quality, 260 frames per second is only using about 1% of the capabilities of this GPU. It is absolutely mind-boggling how good this GPU is. In fact, it's so good, you're about to see here on the screen that the GPU is actually now bottlenecked by the CPU. In the previous test, the CPU was at 42% and the GPU was at 58%. So the GPU went from 58 to 1 and the CPU went from 42 to 99. And let's not forget, this is a 16 core Ryzen 5950X, which is an absolute monster of a CPU. And it's completely bottlenecking the 4090 to the point where the 4090 is not even working at all. It's only at 1%. So what does it mean? What does all of this mean? And what can you do to fix your CPU bottlenecking issues? Well, first and foremost, the 4090, it is so powerful that even a 5950 cannot keep up. What you're going to need is a 7950 3D, or you're going to need a 13900 KS. And even then, the bottleneck is expected to be around 60 to 70 percent. But the frame rates are going to jump from 264 to around 330. We're getting very close to the 360 frames per second mark in 1080p, which is where we want to be. However, I won't know for sure until I build my new computer, which is 
coming in the next video and we're going to do this test one more time so let me explain to you guys exactly how a gpu and a cpu work together the gpu is doing all the work whereas the cpu is telling the gpu what to do where to do it and how to do it let me give you guys an analogy using a professor or a teacher and a student to explain to you guys exactly how this works so imagine that the cpu is a professor assigning papers and the gpu is a student who has to write them all out 1080p is like the professor assigning a five paragraph open-ended essay no big deal quick and easy for the gpu to compute give it back to the professor to grade and say okay done give me the next assignment this means the professor has to grade really frequently and have new prompts ready to go in just about every class period if not more often 4k is like the cpu and professor assigning a 25 to 30 page in-depth research paper it takes longer for the gpu or the student in this example a lot longer to complete something of that scale so what happens the professor doesn't have to grade nearly as much and doesn't need to hand out new prompts very often because that one takes so long to complete. This is how the GPU and the CPU work together to build the games and the worlds you're playing. The CPU basically says, hey, I need you to make this world. The GPU renders it and says, got it, next please. And then it rinses and repeats. If the GPU takes a longer amount of time before it asks for the next frame, the CPU has to give less instruction. This is the reason why the 4090 is bottlenecking even the high-end CPUs because the GPU is calculating and rendering these frames at an astronomical rate that the CPU just can't keep up. Think of it like a professor giving you a 25 to 30 page essay and says you have three days to complete it, but everybody in the class is completing that essay in 45 minutes. The professor won't know what to do with himself. He will have no way to grade all of those papers. This is what you're basically doing with the 4090. They're saying, hey, next please, next frame please, but the CPU hasn't even rendered the frame before. This is what bottlenecking is, and the reason why the 3090 works so well with the 5950X and the 13900K is because the GPU wasn't as fast and it was taking more time to request the next bit of information from the CPU. I don't think we've had to deal with anything quite like this in the past because there's been nothing that's been anywhere near as powerful as the 4090. This is kind of like uncharted territory for everyone. Having a GPU that is so powerful, even the top end server CPUs are just sweating bullets to keep up. It's a really good thing to have that powerful of a GPU. Or is it? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Explain to you guys what bottlenecking is with the CPU and GPU. Showing you how the 3090 competes with the 4090 and how it really is no competition whatsoever. The 4090 is such a huge jump from the 3090 and it's well worth the money. If you've got the coin to upgrade your GPU, I highly suggest doing it as soon as you can. It doesn't matter the brand. Don't buy any of the super editions or the overclocked editions. Just get the cheapest one you can find because the 4090 is the big kahuna and it's the gpu that you guys want hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe tap the bell comment below let me know what you guys think of this video we'll catch you on the flip side on the next video check me out acrylics with a one acrylics.com for all your merchandise to support the channel peace out guys so you made it to the end of another video well i got another one picked out for you right there click it what are you waiting for click the link it's right there you're still here? Why are you staring at my face? Click the link.